try to convince you that you have to file a civil rights lawsuit. 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 Using like you get civil rights lawsuit on the brain. Guys, you don't always have to sue for civil rights. And if you do, it's going to be under the federal civil rights laws and, and ADA and all these other claims and all this other nonsense. And guess what? If you don't have a lawyer, you don't get attorney's fees unless you got an attorney. All right. So if I represent myself in a civil rights case, I don't get attorney's fees, even though I'm an attorney. I've got to hire a lawyer if, if, I, if attorney's fees are going to be paid. I hope you guys are understanding that. So it's almost kind of pointless because the advantages of bringing a civil rights claim are the things like attorney's fees, right? That's, an, that's a, big, a big thing because some civil rights cases aren't like a train accident where a million people got killed and you know families were displaced. It could just be that someone was falsely arrested and has an injury to their hand. Well, a jury might give you 50 bucks for that, right? You don't know. But with the attorney's fees component, that makes those cases more attractive for a civil rights lawyer to take. The problem is if there's not a now, the courts are trying to tie the attorney's fee to the underlying award. I hope this is making sense. So as a lawyer, I know if I take a civil rights case and it's not a big hit, that my attorney's fees are going to probably get reduced or taken away unless I get a significant award.